I think that, if I may say so, is is a um, is a very uh, a very short term uh, a short term view to suggest that um, it does it does lead to uh, it does lead to ruin. You know, we we're, we're looking at pretty exceptional circumstances uh, at the moment, and for what it's worth, I think that. You know, we are going to see a recession, and I think by historical standards, it's going to be pretty. Uh, it's going to be deep. Uh, however, um, given that it's not built from a huge number of imbalances, uh, uh, and you're starting to see the impact of, uh, you know, maybe today a little bit of. Uh, uh, impact of policy stimulus coming through, uh, and my my guess is that the recovery, when it comes, and I've no idea when it comes, will actually be quite strong. So you know, you have seen a roller coaster uh, ride for um, asset prices, and particularly risk-based asset prices. You know, over the last three or four uh, three or four years. So uh, everything I know about investing, uh, you know, says if 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 you don't if you don't have to, this is not the you know it is not the time to 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 sell uh, when markets are under uh, so much pressure. Actually, it's a it's a time for um, cool uh, and uh, and calm uh, and calm heads. So, so you know, I, I think it's a time for lengthening your investment horizon. Keith, I, I understand completely what you're saying and all these cycles that we've all seen over many, many decades as well. But this time is different, isn't it? Because we're talking about two crises. One, the clear and present danger from the 12 to 18 months that potentially we're still going to be affected by the pandemic. Uh, and then potentially a much longer recessionary environment as well. Are equities really the right place, do you think, for medium term investors to be involved in, given the fact that we're talking about huge amount of government interference, a lack of dividend potentially going forward? a lack of buyback going forward, of course, uh, and a lot of zombie assets are going to be left on the market for a very long time. Would equities really work in that environment? I think selective equities will. So, so I, th I think you're, you're, you're right, quite right, Steve. This is very different from... And, and, and um, you know, uh, financial uh, crises are always, and economic crises are always very different. Uh, this is different from the financial crash. It's different from 87. 87, we didn't see a recession. Uh, the, uh, the GFC was all about uh, the banks. Uh, this is about this is a recession created by a downdraft in economic activity as governments attempt to uh, protect their population and that lowers econo economic uh, economic activity so the bulk of this is felt by the people and in the corporate sector and I think what you've seen over the last 10 days is equity prices reflecting that uh, totally Across uh, across the board, uh, you know the golden rule in, in investment is 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 buy low. Uh, I think you also need to be, you know, if you're thinking about the medium term. To your point, uh, not everything that went down w will go up, and I think you yeah. have to be highly uh, highly selective. But I but I I I, I do think that you know the we're starting to follow the classic uh, three phases of 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 what happens in this situation yes. in terms of policy response and and right. actually for the medium term um yeah i i i i i think uh, equity markets you know 5 years time will be significantly above where they are today Hi, I'm Joanna Bersetti and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.